resident evil. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their Seriously, mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. gonna say uh first of all kitties thank you so much for um coming to my stream uh, it's been a while i feel like it's been a while since i saw you i'm i'm so happy to see you and yes mike i know late stream but um uh, it's usually what i do in the late stream <laughs> Kitty here before you. <laughs> Mike, how is Kitty here before you? Hey, Brad! Where the hell's he going? Chris, this way. Netflix, what are you watching? Oh, that was odd. There are only three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, oh, and all right. myself. We I'm don't not know where Barry is. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> I got nothing Is against everyone that. Alright? Barry. Where's Barry? He's No. What was that? I'll go and check it out. Alright. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Thank you. 
god, I look at Jill here and then I look at her in the remake and it's so different. It's gonna take me a while to get accustomed to that, I'm not gonna lie. Oh boy, here we go again, you guys. Of course there's gotta be some kind of fight between you all. Uh, shoot, I, I still, I'm still so accustomed to like the whole, uh, to the whole, uh, control scheme for Resident Evil Zero, so, shoot, what's the, oh, okay, triangle. Damn, I forgot how I played as Chris. Loki mad at you, Nexus? There's no donate link. I can't give you a Christmas present? No, I, I don't have one set up. It, it's okay, kitty. It's okay. <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't need to take the emblem. Not right now, anyway. Damn, this is gonna be like an extremely uh, casual uh, stream because it's been like, I wanna say five years? No, 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 wait, four or five years maybe since like the last time that I played this. Actually more like four years since I last played this. You got your present already, you hush? Wait, who, me? And what? I'm confused. Holy crap, seven people already showed up? Uh, hi everyone! <laughs> uh, I was not expecting um, that many people to come on since it's such a late stream. Wesker? Jill? Where did they go? Looked a little too happy to have a chunk missing from his neck. Right? <laughs> Yay! I have a handgun, I'm so happy. Oh my god, these controls are killing me. I'm so used to, um, I'm so used to Resident Evil uh, Zero's control scheme that it's kind of pissing me off now. <laughs> What time is it for where I am? It's a little past 10 p.m. Should have done reassigned buttons. I'll do my best to just get uh, used to the controls. It's fine. It's no worries. I just, uh, if anything, what I ought to do is just take a look at the uh, controls themselves. Hold on. Change aiming target. Oh, huh, cool. Okay, okay. Oh, map is here. Sweet. Status. Reload while aiming. Good gracious. Yeah, I, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I pretty much forgot uh, all these controls considering how long it's been since I last played this. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely going to be a very uh, casual playthrough because of how long it's been since I last played this, so yeah. Whoa, kitty, what's going on? Uh, duck. <laughs> I 
Are, is everything okay, Kitty? Are you alright? Woman drawing water. I, oh, I'm just gonna say this right now. I honestly forgot just how pretty this entire game looks. It's just, it's just so. I actually no. I hesitate to say beautiful, just because it's kind of weird to say beautiful, but it kind of looks beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. And there they go again. Sorry guys. If, if anybody else besides Mike and Kitty are watching this, I'm sorry chat's going a little crazy because these two are having a bit of a fight. Potentially. Oi! I forgot about this. <coughs> That was very, very creepy. But hey, Lisa Trevor, honestly, like one of the most uh, welcomed additions to this, uh, to this game, in my honest opinion. <laughs> All right, hold on, let me read your stuff. Um, calm down, Nexus, they didn't good, do a good job compared to Zero. Oh, you know what? Let me have my own opinions, dude, okay? I think this game looks really good, alright? Friendly banter, sure! You guys calling each other names is just friendly banter! It's all good, right? I think. I freaking hope so. Throat's been torn out. Throat's been torn out. Oh god, Kenneth, no! And here we go. No, but I'm just saying that, like, um, as a remake, I, I, I just, I don't know. I think about like the time frame in which the remake came out and then like the uh, the actual original came and I just think damn this is such a leap in graphics you know it's just so really cool uh, I don't know I'm kind of I'm kind of like mentally fangirling right now just because I'm playing this game again for a stream for a Resident Evil Marathon but yeah, that's just me. <laughs> Here we go. It's pre-rendered picture. <laughs> then tell me why Zero looks so much better. I don't know. I can't really say why. Or maybe I should take that. Get off of me! Yeah, I really ought to get me acquainted with like the uh, with the controls. And that was unbelievably horrible. 
Ah, oh, well, it's my first playthrough. Who cares? Wait. All right, examine. Is this thing? Wait, no, it's not goodbye. Arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Arrowhead. Not the water. Oh, hi! Um, um, get up quick, Chris. Get up quick! Oh god, hi. Oh my god, what are we stuck on? I remember where this arrowhead is supposed to be used. Wait, where does this go? Lock from the other side? Oh my god, never mind. Where does that door go? Zero doesn't have pixelated shots. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. Oh, I remember this place. I'm not ready for this place. I'm out of here. Hey, speaking of Zero, I uh, Yeah, I finally got that platinum today. Or, um, yesterday for you guys. I had to play through it three times consecutively. It kind of sucked. A little bit. Just because I know I could have done it in just two playthroughs, but I done goofed. I didn't have enough confidence to think that I could go through a boss without healing one time. And I, uh, I, I used a, I used a herb. <laughs> thank you, Mike. Thank you, uh, thank you, Kitty. Jesus Christ, these creatures are crappy. I, I really got a Oh my God! Hi. Oh no, I didn't get to see this. Oh, I didn't get to see the glorious headshot. Uh, is this open? It's locked. Emblem of the- oh, right, I forgot. Should have streamed it, Nexus? Okay, I'm just gonna say this, um, probably about halfway through my run in Wesker mode, like, probably around the laboratory area, I was like, should I just stream this? Because I'm gonna finish it in, like, probably half hour, maybe 45 minutes at most. But then I was like... And I was like, it seems like a little bit of a waste of time. I don't know, I was debating a lot about it, like a lot. So I kind of decided to just go through and just not stream it. But now I have a little bit of regret about it. <laughs> I'm so confused about what I'm supposed to do. God, this is what happens when I go back to a game I haven't played in years. Thank you, Backlog. Look, it's so pretty. See, it's so pretty. Oh, hi! E PB on the stairs. Ew, get a shirt! Oh, wait, shit. Oh, that's why I'm in there. That's weird. God, those animations. It's locked from the other side. Look from the other side. God, there's so much in this mansion that is messed up. Unbelievably messed up. Moon works full time. Oh. Huh. <laughs> My big question is why does it not show Chris actually inserting the um, arrowhead there? Because look, that's a huge gap right there. <laughs> Mm. 
always wanted to do that. It's so stupid. It's funny. <laughs> God, look at this crypt. This was like one of the absolutely creepiest additions to the remake. Especially that coffin. Dear God, that coffin. Yeah. I'm out of here, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. This guy's creeps me out. It's creepy! <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wait, close your door, why? Oh, right, you guys are- Never mind. Never mind, sorry, that's my, uh, misunderstanding. Uh, examine? Book of Curses. Can I get a- Oi. Oh, right. There's a key on the back. Will you remove it? Of course I will remove it. Let me see. Wait. All right, the four masks. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all fall into place, evil will awaken. Oh yeah, evil will awaken. One of the creepiest evils to ever come out of this place. Engraving of a sword. Engraving of a sword? Where did engraving of a sword come from? Huh? Oh. Okay. Um. God, I love this mansion. It looks so much better in, in remake quality. <laughs> of course, everything's better in remake quality. Wait, no, this isn't where I wanted to... There was a door downstairs, I think, that needed that sword thing. I think so. Before I go, before I go to that particular area, um... There is... I remember a small detail. Give me a sec, guys. Or a minute. Depending on how long these door animations take, which can be pretty lengthy. You have played this before, right? Yes, I have. Like I said, uh, four years ago, I think. <laughs> She's a cyclopedia, of course she has. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm cursed. I am forever cursed with that particular nickname. Thanks. No, but like, um... Uh, I'm playing on hard mode, and I'm playing on Chris's route, and I've only played on Chris's route, like, I think... Once? I wanna say? Yeah, I think I've only played once, uh... On Chris's route. Like, once on this PS4. to myself oh man I just remembered what's gonna suck is that I have to collect I have to pick up every single item in all the rooms that are red because that's one of the trophies that I missed I don't even think I'm gonna go after the um, the platinum for this game but that's what I said for Resident Evil 0 and I ended up doing it anyway but who knows I think I want to say that the um, the worst trophy for this particular game that I am most scared of is the one where you have to use only your knife. So no defensive items, no lighter, uh, no stomping zombie heads. That's going to be really terrifying. 
Ugh, it's so scary just thinking about it. Just do it? Wait, why would I want to just do it? Oh, hi! Uh. Hey, that was glorious! I got to see! I got to see something so glorious! Just do the platinum? I don't know! I don't know! Okay, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, okay, fine. I got my first traditional Resident Evil Platinum with uh, zero, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm ready to tackle this game, especially this game. Dear God. Wait, what is this? Walk from the other side? Oh my God. I hope they made multiple objects because how much it would suck to fight the Elder Crimson because need to go with the Aqua Ring. You're. Excuse me? Did you really just say that? My OCD butt is gonna do it? Why? Why is my OCD butt gonna do it? Ew! I don't want to see you! I don't want to be near you! Because you're so close to getting it. I have- have you seen? Uh, no. Never mind. I am not close to getting it. I- I think... I want to say that I'm at either 50 or 53% to getting the platinum for this game. I am not close whatsoever at all. Oh my god! I completely forgot! There's an item box in this game! Yes! Oh my god, no more bad inventory management! But then I play through this game and I'm actually gonna miss the inventory management from Resident Evil Zero and it's gonna be a completely ironic twist of events. It's gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna put this here because I got no shotgun yet. Um... Give me a sec, my dog's snoring. And I'm back. I'm gonna apologize um, in advance if I take my mic off a little frequently. Just gotta check up on my dog and make sure she's not doing anything dumb. And... Didn't even know they were in the room? Oh, thank goodness. If that's the case, I probably won't even have to take my mic off as often. I apologize in advance if I fall asleep on you. No, kitty, it's okay, no worries. I'm happy you were able to stop by anyway. Oh boy, but this inventory stuff is gonna be a bit of a biscuit. Yeesh. Um, I don't think I'm- if I die, I really don't have much to do anyway, right now. And what- okay, and once again, I start off a new Resident Evil on hard difficulty. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Oh, hi. Nope. 
Oh wait, I ran out of rounds already? No! The heck? No, get off of me! Are you down? Okay, you're down. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry for being loud. I apologize. It's locked. An emblem with- oh my god, emblem with an armor. Was it an emblem with an armor or an emblem with a helmet that was like the last key that you had to find? I just need to find this emblem of a helmet again! I- oh my god, I'm already gonna have- Nope. I don't want to. I don't- I don't want to be your date. No! Go away! No! Oh god, hi. You're not gonna be the one that vomits, right? Poke. Helmet, right? Yeah, I was- I was- I had a feeling. Okay, so... Emblem of a helmet. I, oh man, this is gonna be really hard memorizing all of, like, where the helmet and the armor uh, doors are. Oh hi! Oh god, you're gonna turn into a crimson head later, aren't you? Oh no! Oh god, hi! You might wanna hurry and find the canteen. Oh yeah. Lock from the other side. Oh my god, why are they locked from the other side? I unlocked it, yay. What did I unlock? Oh right, all the way back to the dining hall. Right? Yep, all the way back to the dining hall. Of course, this is the layout of a mansion. I remember that this mansion is just um, way bigger than the training facility that you see in Resident Evil Zero. I've got my I've got my uh, my memory of this game all mixed up with Zero just because I beat Zero earlier today for me, um, yesterday for you guys. But, oh my God, man, this is gonna suck. So bad. Hey, let's get to this! I can remember most places if you ever need help. Sure, I don't mind the help. I do not mind being assisted. I'm here too. Thank you, Mike. Locks from the other side. Alright. It's the area where... Uh, I don't want to say. Do you don't know shit? Yeah, he's your dog. <laughs> oh, kitty. Yeah, I. Uh... Oh, kitty, I missed you. <laughs> I should get some first aid. All right, and there's that uh, that blue jewel down there too. <laughs> All right, there's this, this door. It's an old-fashioned lock that's rather simple in mechanism. I know where that particular key is. I just do not have the particular um, uh, key. To have it is, I think, right? I don't have a key for it. Oh, I missed you too. Honestly, yeah, I missed you, Kitty. <laughs> Much to some people's shock, I, I think.
I'm in caution, yeah, that's... I think that's cause to use this. Yeah, I'm really rusty at this game. You know, miss me? Wait, by you, do you mean me? Because if you... Because if you miss... If you mean me... Wait, who do you mean, Mike? Yeah, who do you mean, Mike? Because <laughs> now I'm just confused. This is me. I'm constantly confused at everything. I'm a so-called encyclopedia, and I'm constantly confused at everything. <laughs> Both. Of course. Wait, I stayed again. <gasps> what are you gonna say? I stayed again. You never said missed me. Oh. Dang. So I declined to comment. <gasps> Ooh, shots fired. Well, I mean, they've been fired a long time ago. <laughs> if, I, if, if I'm not mistaken, they've been fired a long time ago. Oh my god, so many emblems. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Quit it. Will you take the wooden mount? Why do I need this? Oh, right. I think I remember this. Calm down, kitty. I just have to look at the- <gasps> No! What? No! Mike! How could you say that? Dog whistle? Oh. Oh no. A crumpled memo. <sighs> yeah, okay. I'm just gonna say this. Kitty, yes, I missed you. Mike, I missed you too. I miss both you guys, okay? Okay. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging on around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. Even... Look at that. That's some dedication. Even undead. The dog will come at the whistle. Wow, I'm stunned. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Ha! Not me. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item you've always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for the both of us. John Tolman. Also, thank you, Nexus. It's about time I got recognition. Hugs. Oh, I send you, I send you a psychological hug. It's funny because I'm hugging the air, but I'm sending it to you. I'm sending you a hug, a psychological hug. I think it, yeah. Recognition? I said thank you a billion times. Wait, uh, for, yes, recognition for being important enough to be missed. <laughs> we mentioned you. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. Oh my god, now you guys, now you guys can hear her, she can hear her, can you? Oh my god, she is loud. Give me a sec, because that is really loud. <laughs>
Okay. Forgive me, I apologize for that. Five, four, th oh, they're Crimson Heads now. Good luck, Nexus. Yeah, I'm going to need it. Thank you for that. I am very much going to need luck on this. I don't know. I really don't know why I keep doing this to myself, or it's just hard difficulty every, almost every time that I come back to a Resident Evil game. But I'm a dummy dum dum. Oh, well. Oh, this is quite the office. Very closed off. Get off of me! Or maybe I should just leave him alive. good at dodging zombies though with these even with alternate controls I'm not really good at dodging zombies <sighs> hey corners I guess that's the way to go it's locked emblem of an armor somewhere in my spare time I need to write down I need to trace that map and find out or mark armor and helmet stuff. Also, uh, Mike, I don't know how to make uh, you guys mods. Can I even do that? Can I even make mods? Don't I have to be like a, what, higher in Twitch rank to be able to do that? An unlit fireplace. Wait, can't I? Wait. Oh, look at that. There's a map of the mansion, second floor. Heck yeah, I need it. Oh god, hi. That's a lot of rooms. The streamer has all the powers. Oh. Okay. You got the map? And that's a very, very intricate uh, mechanic. Oh, if only I could just sit down right here and just not have to worry about going through the rest of this game. But I can't do that, unfortunately. Wait, Mike, do I have to uh, type it in exactly as you put it? Well, not exactly, but obviously, like, switch out, um, username with, like, your guys' uh, names. Oh, hi! I didn't realize that I dodged you there. That was so lucky. Oh, I didn't. Go away. Shoot. <laughs> like how I say shoot to a zombie that has no cognitive sense. <laughs> Oh look, kerosene. Yay! Or I mean fuel canteen. Refuel the fuel canteen stuff. Yay. Yes, yay indeed. You know, I, I think I, I listened to this particular theme and I still cannot believe that, you know, when I watched uh, Mike's stream of the director's cut, it had like the 
original save theme and not the actual director's cut theme. That still bugs me so much. Not gonna lie. Oh well. Woo, burn them all, right? Heck yeah, I'm gonna burn them all. Oh boy. Wait. I guess I, I guess I probably ought to just save right now. Just in case. What? Hey! I'm not asking to pick up an item. Oi. That's not cool. Okay, gotcha, Mike. While I take the old key. Yes, I finally have the old key. I'm pretty sure I know one of the doors that it unlocks. Actually, no, I don't. No, crap. I'm thinking of a I'm thinking of a different mode. My god. I hate how everything changes because of the fact that you go from hard to real survivor, and then you go from normal and ah. <sighs> Let's hope you don't have to restart. You already screwed yourself a bit with all those crimsons. Oh yeah, I know. I'm not exact I am a veteran Resident Evil player, but that doesn't necessarily mean I am the smartest when it comes to coming back to a game that I haven't played in like four years. Ah, oh, why did Crimson Heads have to be a thing? I mean, they're a cool addition, kind of, but why did they have to be a thing? Uh, old key. Oh, right, the old key. You know, I really do really want to switch these controls around. This is kind of bothering me. Wait, what's the other one? Map is here. Run. No, don't like that. Attack. Nope. What? Wait, I didn't change it, right? Yeah. Or maybe what I'd have to do is I have to do like custom controls like for my PlayStation. Exactly. Oh man. Well, this is going really swell, isn't it? Like Kitty said, I effectively screwed myself. What happened? Nothing! I'm just reminiscing on how much I screwed myself. Fun times. Sort of. Doorknob looks ready to fall apart. Go through anyway? Yeah. Oh. Wait. This isn't... Crap. Have you heard of a randomizer? It's for computer only, but it gets but it completely customizes the game. I have not. Nope, not ready to come here. I have the old key. I can get the broken shotgun. So all I need to do is just not screw myself even more. I remember in like the uh, the Umbrella Chronicles, there was a bunch of snakes and zombies that come through here. Kind of freaky, freaky stuff. Looks like the water sink still works. Oh, that's lovely. It's full of dirty water. Remove the plug. Yeah, why not? You can take away health items, weapons, etc. You can randomize them and custom them. That's cool. Ew, look at that thing. It's so gross. 
What? You're not even gonna give me the benefit of... Wait, what? Two old keys? I was not expecting an old key to be there. I, I, I can't even finish my thoughts and sentences. This is horrible. You might be able to unlock it using an old key. Use an old key? Um, no. Man, that angle. <laughs> that angle. <laughs> uh, okay. Hi! Oh god, hi! I don't I don't want to deal with dogs right now. Hi! No. No, 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 no. I'm not ready to deal with you assholes right now. Pardon the language. What I like about the old keys is that they're actually mandatory to progress. You are right. Yeah. Especially with the, uh... With the, uh, broken shotgun. Wait. Can we move? This can be moved, this can be moved. Move! Move it, move it, please, hurry! No, never mind! Oh! Game! You blessed me with a miracle! Oh, I feel so blessed. Wait, I feel so not blessed. I feel so dumb. Wait, can this work? Yes, it worked! Oh my god, thank you, it worked. Holy crap, that is a lot of rooms. Can we, you can even randomize the rooms. Example, the door to the dining hall can lead to a save room. Damn! Really? That sounds really interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. I actually want to try that out now. Okay, I'm just looking at the map. So the the room where I came out of that had the uh, the garden stuff right next to that that small room that's locked, I think. Oh, my my memory is really mixed up with the director's cut, so I'm not sure. How long am I remaining tonight? Uh, half hour at best, probably. I'm just trying to get myself reacquainted with uh, with this whole place and the controls. Can't believe it's been an hour already. Me neither, dude. Me neither. <laughs> I've made zero progress and I can't believe I've already been here half an hour. But, um,. Oh, yeah, I am gonna go get that uh, broken shotgun. I think I know the way. <laughs> Th that's one of the things that I uh, that I kind of noticed uh, coming into this game from Resident Evil Zero is that like uh, Resident Evil Zero, it's not really complicated on where exactly you have to go. There's not a lot that you have to memorize compared to this game where it's a mansion with numerous floors and so many puzzles, so many doors that you need to unlock yourself. It's kind of mind-boggling in a sense, so I, th I think I just need to get reaccustomed to the fact that this is a different game, this is, uh, I mean, it came out the same, relatively the same time, but this is completely different. What do I even say? You know what, I'm just gonna be quiet. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh wait, yeah, I have the kerosene. I use an old key. Please tell me that the broken shotgun will be in here. Don't let there be any more changes. I can't handle any more changes. Will I take it? Oh yes, thank you. Just some old furniture. Yeah, really old. Okay. See that? See how a broken shotgun only takes up one space? One little box? In Resident Evil Zero, it would take up two slots. 
I hate that with a burning passion. <laughs> so much. Uh, I can't carry any more items. Oh, frick. Oh, well. There was a particular trophy where I have to burn two bodies uh, at the same time. Don't know how the hell that's going to happen, but... Oh, well. Yay! I know there's only a limited amount of kerosene with uh, each uh, each can, but considering that this one is a new canister of kerosene that I have not used, it'll be somewhat safe for me to be able to use it. Somewhat. I'm not sure what changes from each difficulty. Also, Kitty, uh, thank you for the link. I'll definitely check it out. Oh, crap. Yeah, right. This game's... Okay, first of all, it's easy for you because you played it... You've played it through the most- I I'm surprised you don't even have the platinum for this game, considering how much you played through this. Sent. Thank you. Old key. Only works on computer. I still like to see, you know, like, what, what it's all about. So I, I very much appreciate you sending me that video. Thank you. I'll definitely check it out. Why must you shade me? I'm not shading. I'm just stating. Wait, right? Right? Now I'm concerned. You have no- you have no right to give her shit when you can't even get it yourself. Oh my god, <laughs> This game's easy. You're telling me this game's easy to someone who has not played this game in... Let me state it again. Four years? Four and a half years? Oh, forget you. You didn't even talk about getting it? Yeah. Forget it. Whatever. Look at that beautiful scenery. I can't see anything because of all the damn trees. It's lovely, isn't it? One health, you got three uses. Why isn't use them wisely? I know. I kind of want to use it right now. Okay, um, I shouldn't have spent all those bullets so unwisely. I really, I really need to be smarter about, um, <laughs> about dodging a bunch of zombies. But I'm gonna go back, uh, to that particular room now that I have the, uh, broken shotgun. So, yeah. And here we go. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, Every single time, I think I'm gonna go on an adventure. Indiana Jones always pops up in my damn head.
Use them wisely. Yeah. I will. I. Yay! You are? I'm so happy! I'm so happy you're gonna do your no save run with Jill. Damn, that's a. Uh, that's quite the angle right there. <laughs> like, there's. No, that's not a thing. Whoa, God, hi! How did you get out? That's never happened to me before. Oh my god, that's never happened to me before. Well, anyway. Yeah. I always forget it's there. I might as well use it. Yeah. Sure. That's true. Uh, yes. I keep getting like war flashbacks or something to um to Resident Evil Zero where it really does a single shotgun can take up two inventory slots, but that's supposed to be balanced because you have another AI partner with you, but screw that, I just want it to take up one. Wait, what? Ugh. Oh, how horrible. Wait, does it still say Resident Evil Zero? Because I changed it at the start of the stream to Resident Evil 1 Remake. Give me a sec. Um, <laughs> yeah, it still says it says Resident Evil One Remake for me. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Give me a sec. Hmm. 
So you're asking me to change the game and not the title? I mean, I'm okay, Mike. Um, I'm just a little confused on what you mean about the whole dashboard thing. Oof, okay. If Game, stop doing that. I don't I don't need to be scared right now. Yeah, it's hard to explain in chat. Since her family emblem is carved into a doorknob. Oh god, hi! Hi, how did you get here? I don't want you to hear. <laughs> Go away. Wait, hold on. What is that door? Pretty sure I can't get it. I don't want high. Okay, that's that that happened. Yeah, I'm so screwed, guys. <laughs> I'm legitimately so screwed. <sighs> Now I gotta reevaluate everything that I have to do right now. I have the dog. Oh, right. The dog whistle. That's the thing that I have to do next. Okay. Oh, hi. Why are you here? Oh, thank God you don't have a head. You can't come back. You can never come back. I am thankful for that. Roger that, dude. Uh, Mike, I'll, I'll do that later. Or, yeah, I'll do that later. Uh, do I need the sword key? I don't think I need it right now. Um, just in case, I'm gonna save right now. Is it weird that I've always wanted to use a typewriter? Like an actual typewriter, like in in real life? I've always wanted to try that so bad. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to do that. Um, I'll put this here. I don't think I need this yet. I hope. So, things to do outside my stream, make you and Kitty my mods, and add a nightbot. Roger that. Wait, what's the quickest way over there? Because I can't use the door down here. I shouldn't use the door down here again. Uh, if I go up... Okay. Hmm. Oh wait, there's- Oh, hi, hi. You're, you're about to get burned, buddy. Shoo, go away. I do not need any more potential zombies to come back from the dead. Isn't that funny? And extremely ironic. Zombies coming back from the dead. Oh, I, why do you zombies have to do that? You know what's interesting? I am willing to bet that in the amount of time that I've gone through all of this, people have beaten the game. It's so sad. I'm making myself sad, that's so sad. <laughs> God. 
I thought you were making her stream set up Nightbot while streaming. Insert shrug emote here. Traded your wounds. Yay! I'm so happy. What I'm not happy about is what I have to do next. By blowing into it, it generates frequencies audible only to the ears of dogs. You can call a dog with this whistle. Here's a question. What I want to know is. Well, actually, two things. How can a zombie dog hear this? Two, where the heck do they come from? <sighs> I know some people would be in the aqua ring by now, but I mean... <laughs> Why is it really timing? Take your time. I blew the dog. That's true, some people would be in the aqua ring by now. Oh hi! Get off of me, get off of me, get off of me! Get off of me! Are you gonna come back too? Why did the dog with the collar have more... Uh... Resistance? You wanna know a good trick? Do tell. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do tell. Look at that. Look at that nice color. Actually, I'm not sure about the spikes, but oh well. There's a switch. Will you press it? Yes. Hey, a coin was hidden inside. Yeah, right. We all know that that ain't a coin. There's nothing unusual. Yes, there is. Changed into the shape of a key. Imitation of a key. But it lacks the rigidity to be used as one. I know where this is used. Uh, question is... Can- am I actually smart enough? Discard? Fuck yeah, I don't need it. I don't want it taking up more space. Um, yeah, kitty, go ahead. Share the trick. If you stand in the far corner, right next to a door, and point the gun down the balcony... Mm hmm Alright, I can't... I have a... I have an imitation of an armor key, but I can't use it. Okay, so that thing hasn't turned. This, however, needs to die. Oh, what?! No, 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 no! I'm out of here! But I attempted to burn him! I attempted to burn him! Why? You can't tease me like that! I'm pissed off now. I've got a crimson head waiting right outside for me. When I attempted to burn him. Oh, but you should have done it sooner. I know! I should have done it sooner. <laughs> okay, crying's over. Let's get back to this. May whoever take this emblem find peace and death. Thanks, I guess. Oh, that's just rude. If 
you stand in the far left corner next to the door, point the gun down the balcony. Oh, really? Huh. I'll do that next time. Oh, really? Mike, you met Kitty in this game? That's cool. Kitty had a creepy ass twitch laugh. It's true, when I laugh really, really hard, I told her to stop laughing, it was freaking me out. Um, remind me to never laugh on stream, ever again. Laughing hard. Actually, no, I'll, I'll remind myself. I, I will not laugh. <laughs> Yay, armor. I laugh fine because I contain myself. An uncontained laugh, however. <sighs> no one wants to hear that. And I'm staying in the go off, I guess. I was kidding. <laughs> hey, uh, Crimson Head, I'm ready for you. Right there. But I can't see. <sighs> no, go away. Why'd you have to come back from the dead? I didn't think you'd get up so quick. Well, okay, if he's gonna be there, I may as well just plan up my, my strategy. Um. Shoot. Oh, but the door's right there! It's right around the corner! Oh, but I could go downstairs and take the long way around. I don't really trust myself to make a run for it. I think I could go downstairs, take the long way around, and then right there. I'm guaranteed we have the fake. You should hurry and burn the other zombie while you're there. You should, shouldn't I? Shit, talking mushrooms! Okay. What? what? That looked like it was two herbs! Okay, I don't, I don't see him in the corner. I don't see him in the corner. I don't see him in the corner! No, screw you, Crimson Head. Okay, kitty. I, I did it. I did it. I think I did it. I think I did it. Oh, what are you doing there? Why can you come through doors? You have to come through doors. There were no zombies out there. Oh my god, the helmet is there? I thought this was an armor one. And yes, I say shiitake mushrooms, so what? Aw, oh, damn it. Did the zombie burn sometimes if you leave before the fire lights? It doesn't work. I mean, I heard flame sounds, I think, question mark, oh no, did I screw myself again, how many times can I screw myself here? Listening to that nice save theme. 
It's one of the most used save themes out there, you know, for the Resident Evil universe. Only sometimes you're not, you're not, maybe you're not screwed. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Do you plan uh, streaming this for both Chris and Jill and Real Survivor? Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I just realized I made myself sound like a, like a zombie. <laughs> um, it's because right now my main plan is to complete this on hard difficulty using Chris because Chris is the one with the best uh, defense. Correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not because I'm not the one who plays Chris all the time uh, in this game. Usually I play uh, Jill all the time, just because I love playing my, my best girl. Oh, hey, look, it's- oh god, hi. You know those things look creepier in the uh, old game? Just because they were black, greenish, I think. The lid is open. Pump the water? No. I don't want to give them more water. I certainly don't want to go past them. Yes. Health. I'm thinking... Oh my god. I'm, I'm still thinking in Resident Evil Zero terms. Billy had the best uh, defense, which meant that he... Um, he doesn't uh, use... Uh, he doesn't take as much, uh... Why is it so hard for me to say stuff? His health doesn't go down as much when he gets hit by uh, zombies or by leechmen and such. Wait, hold on. But Claire's best girl, Veronica Claire, not Remake Bitch. Oh! Okay, I'm just gonna say this right here, right now. Kitty, I agree with you. <laughs> no no offense to the remake Claire, but I do not like remake Claire. I'll probably save my rant for when I actually get to the remake. But right here, right now, I just want it stated, I really don't like Claire in the remake. Which is why I'm genuinely scared for how they're gonna make um, Jill in that remake. <laughs> oh man. I came back here for a reason, but I'm trying to think of what I was trying to do. Wait, why did I come back? Oh, right! I need to get that blue jewel. The actor stream is Resident Evil 2 Remake. Mm hmm. Honestly can't- okay, hold on. Uh, Kitty? Honestly can't stand that Claire. I don't know what it is, she just annoys the heck out of me. Uh, I- okay, I really do have so much to say about the remake for Claire. I have so many opinions, because Jill and Claire are my best girls in the Resident Evil franchise, which is why I have such pretty strong opinions about their remake counterparts appearance and personality wise i'm gonna hold that off on uh, that judgment off on jill just because the remake's not out yet but i really do have a lot to say about claire not a lot of positive stuff there are some positives but just more negatives than positive if i'm gonna be completely honest here i still haven't played um Spider-Man for the PS4. Um, I don't necessarily know if um, 
there's a whole lot of complaints towards uh, Mary Jane. I just know that her sections to play are not a whole lot of fun. I can't handle any surprises right now. My heart can't take it. But yeah, um, I, I'll just um, I'll just save my particular rant on why I don't really like remake Claire for when I actually get to the remake because then I can actually point out the stuff right then and there instead of having my comments remain here and then mention it again on the on the stream that I'll have in the future for um, the remake. There's an inscription here. A tiger glowing with a blue and yellow light. Used to be blue and red. I'm no, just kidding. <laughs> Yay! More shotgun shells! How bad are you wanting to play Spider-Man PS4? I don't want to accidentally spoil anything. Mm. I'm very, very curious to try out this Spider-Man. Not gonna lie. I just haven't really had the time to go out and buy it and plus I want to be able to clear more from like my actual backlog of other games before I actually commit myself to playing Spider-Man. So I can handle light spoilers, but not heavy, heavy spoilers. If that helps to answer the question. I get, wow, I get burned. It wouldn't even let me get out of that. That's weird. She'll never get to it. Shit. Swimwear girls. Yay. Wait, did that actually burn him or did that burn more me than it did him? Because that's really stupid. And that's never happened to me before, not gonna lie. If I stream Spider-Man, would you watch Nexus? Uh, my first instinct is no, not to watch. My second instinct tells me, uh, watch it lightly. Okay. Her entire persona revolves around being reckless and stupid. She nasty. Oh, right. Well, I thought you meant the itchy, itchy tasty to your continued uh, talk about Spider-Man. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, man. Probably like the most famous document in the entire Resident Evil franchise. Played poker tonight with Scott and, and Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was a big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. <laughs> One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs, pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. Yeah, her into stuff. At around 5 a.m., he woke. Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on, so that there had been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, not even on holiday. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting all grimy and feels itchy all over. The damn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. 
Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage onto it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them for the last three days. If anyone finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. I think that researcher had it pretty easy. Not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> my entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry, and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so kill them. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. You wanna come out? Can't carry any more items, crap. <laughs> My girlfriend still remembers this from the original. Itchy tasty, so memorable. Yeah, dude, like isn't it weird? Like that is that really is one of the most memorable documents ever so well written too it's like it starts off as like everyday um stuff for this guy and then slowly and gradually it starts going down the rabbit hole of like just this bad stuff that happens i, I love it so much man <sighs> sorry i'm fangirling but i really do love itchy tasty I meant the document, not the actual thing that he says. That particular key, however, should have gone over to the door that unlocks to the outside in the painting hallway. But I don't have room right now. I am gonna investigate what does this door unlock? Oh, it sends me back here. Well, crap, I shouldn't have gone all the way around. I'm so dumb. Wait, where is this door? Easy armor key. Oh. All keys are near a door needs to unlock. Yeah. No, but this... The old key that I was uh, referring to, that particular one is... Um, it's like on the other side of the mansion, I think. Hey. So I don't even compile them, I just grab them and instantly use them. Hmm. Uh, let me read Kitty's comment. But now, not really spoilers, but just ranting on MJ. She's mad at Peter because he treats her like a porcelain doll when he just wants her to be careful. I... Yeah, I've heard something similar to that too. When he gets mad at her for breaking into a military base and almost getting hurt, she says he's being controlling and smothering her. Uh, yeah, I've heard that too. I've heard that argument. Also, hey Zinless! I can't carry any more items. I'll look at this, Molotov cocktails. If only I had Rebecca with me. Meow. What are you, a cat? Meow. Wait, no, I can't carry any more items with me. I need to drop something off. Uh. 
Then she goes on a mini rant saying she doesn't understand why heroes need masks. Like, isn't the whole point of being a hero being able to go, yeah, that was me, I did that. Like, really? <laughs> you dated Spider-Man. Okay, first of all, <laughs> this kind of this kind of um reminds me of like that whole uh I, I don't really know too much about comics. I just know that um uh, heroes, especially ones that do wear masks, they need the masks. Otherwise, villains obviously will go after their their families and such, their friends. So why is she saying Spider-Man doesn't need the mask? Does she want to be put in constant danger? Because then that would be pretty stupid. <laughs> MJ is extremely hated right now. That's that's sad to hear. Do I need this right now? Uh, no. Don't need that. Armor key, most likely green herb. I feel like I'm like 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 we gonna need that. I'll just put that there though. Oi. <laughs> Don't steal my aesthetic. That's true. Zenless. Don't steal Kitty's aesthetic. But yeah, exactly. That's the whole point of the mask. It's to protect their family and those closest to them so that they won't be targets for extortion. Exactly! This reminds me of the Sokovia Accords from Marvel. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> that whole comic. Hold on. Well, it's more like MJ wants more time with Peter and wants people to know that he's a good guy with what he does. That's a... That's a interesting... other side to it. But... That's more... I feel like that's a, a little more... Selfish in a sense. Right? Uh, it, it can be considered as that way in a sense. Just in a sense. I'm still on Peter's side. <laughs> they never let heroes keep... <laughs> ...in the comments. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> so how the hell does MJ not say that after dating Peter for how long now? They destroyed MJ. I don't think that that really justifies her words and actions towards Peter. Oh, it is selfish. That's how it came in the comics. Their relationship never worked out. That's really sad because isn't there like a... Okay, this is the only spoiler that I know, you guys, about uh, Spider-Man is the scene where Stan Lee comes in and he comments on uh, on Peter and MJ's uh, relationship. That scene, that's the only thing from Spider-Man that I know, as well as the footage from the numerous times that they've shown it at E3. Wait, what am I missing in the room next to me? I don't understand. Hmm. Obviously in like that really tiny room to the other side, I am missing the yellow diamond, I guess, for more stuff. Okay. Oh, right, the piano. I need to play the piano. All right, well, I'm out. Good night, everyone. Have a good night, Mike. Thank you so much for stopping by the stream. Take care. Peace out, girl. <laughs> Good
goodness, Kitty, it's really late for you, isn't it? Like, uh... Wait. It's almost 3 a.m. for you, isn't it? Take care, Mike. Take care. Sleep well. Wait. Yeah, it's almost... It is almost 2 a.m. for you, Mike. Go to sleep. Wait, what was I doing? I'm so confused now. Yeah, Kitty, you ought to go to... You ought to go to sleep, too. It's like... It is 3 a.m. for you, isn't it? Did I say that? Holy crap. Uh, forgive me. Kitty. Wait, what time is it? It is almost 3 a.m. for you, is it? Did I call you Mike? No, it says, um, because Mike said take care to me, that's why. I don't believe I called you Mike, Kitty. Oh, it's 1.45? Hey, really? Oh. Well, forgive me. Apparently I'm not good at math. I'm sorry, Kitty, for the misunderstanding. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh. All right, I was gonna try to go and see if the room past the elevator still works. I think so. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> but I am getting tired, I'm just gonna lurk. No worries. It's all cool. No, elevator, let me in! Come up and let me in! I did, however, miss your comment about, um, about Peter. She wanted more time with Peter, but think of him like a doctor. Always on call and can never take a sick day. You can't expect him to let criminals like Vulture wreak havoc just because you want to make dumplings with the guy. That is very true. Oh, crap! Sword key, dagnabbit. I gotta make another trip over to the place that I just came from. <laughs> have a good night, kitty. If you fall asleep, have a good night. Sleep well. Sinless, what are you talking about? just because I know another door that needs that old key. Now I'm learning more stuff about Spider-Man that I don't- that I have not learned before. I, I, I'm really not well versed at all in comics, so um, anything else that you say about this is pretty new to me. I only know like 
the most minor of details. Use a sword key. There's no further use for this key. Discard? Yeah. Which is kind of interesting because I have not explored the entire mansion, so how can it tell me that I've used everything? God high. Power doesn't seem turned on, okay. Man, this oh my god, this reminds me of Resident Evil 7. Do you, Do you guys remember that demo? Resident Evil 7, that's like one of the greatest marketing materials like ever. I'm gonna skip this because oh my god, and the zombie on the floor comes alive. Why is it coming alive? Nope. Screw you. Well, I'd rather I'd rather them stay alive like this than come back as crimson heads. Cause dear God, not the crimson heads. Okay, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> I keep thinking to myself, where am I supposed to go? Oh wait, the Moonlight Sonata. I wanna play. Now I have room for this. Wait, why is it not? Of course. Will I take the musical score? Yes. Chris can't play to save his life, but it's okay. It's not necessary to use this now. Wait, what do you mean it's not necessary? Do I have to open it? A section of the music is missing, leaving only the beginning and end of the song. That's just lovely. Dear God, how did I jump from five all the way to nine people? Hi, everyone. Uh, Oh, well, Chris can't play piano exactly. He cannot play the piano. Poor boy. I mean, poor man. He never could. Uh, Jill, where are you when I need you? And I can't say I can't say that about Rebecca because Rebecca can't even play the piano to save her life. It was true here in Resident Evil 1 and it was true later in Resident Evil 0. I still kind of I'm not trying to like pat myself on the back necessarily, but like I still can. I'm still reeling from the fact that like I actually did go through and get the uh, and and get the platinum for that game. And top scroll rating. Oh hi! Thank you for the raid. Hi everyone. Oh my god, so many emotes. And it's funny because I can read them on my computer, but here on the actual screen, it's nothing but text. Oh my god, this is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> right, kitty? I agree. <laughs> this is too funny. <laughs> I am graced by the face of one very awesome Austin Powers. Thank you. Nexus meet my amigos. Amigos meet Nexus and my wall of spam. Hi everyone. Very, very pleased to meet you. Welcome to my very rough live stream of Resident Evil 1 Remake. <laughs> but yeah, it's so nice to meet you guys. Hi! <laughs> Wait, shoot, this is a helmet, right? Dag nabbit's a helmet! Dabs, yes! <laughs> How's the stream going? Going pretty well, thank you. For what it's worth, I am, uh... I'm going okay, considering that I am on hard difficulty after not having come to this game in like four years, so... It's going fairly well. <laughs> God, I still I get freaked out by that particular angle. Use the old key? Yes, I use the old key. Let's go outside and meet some more dogs, right? I'm a plebe. I'll stick to easy. Buddy, I feel that. I really do, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, yes, red, red chemical! Yes! Chemical to use on plants! There's gotta be a better name for that. Is that really- is that really what it is? A chemical agent to destroy plant growth. There you go, herbicide. It can't- It cannot be always called chemical to use on plants. Ah, oh, dang no, I didn't bring my kerosene. What do you see? Invisible zombie mode? Oh, I know. I'm gonna have a heck of a time in invisible zombie mode. Alright, have a nice stream. Fan, be nice and stay nitty. <laughs> Alright, bye squirrel. Take care. Wait, there's, a, there's nothing in there. I just remembered. What? What is this? Oh, come on! No, 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 no! Wait, no. Oh, why did I run over here? Oh, no, I, w I didn't want to run over here! Wait, where does this go? Oh, no, I'm afraid if I use that door, it'll break. Oh no, please tell me that after this use it will not break. Okay. A note? I left some bullets in the room to the right. I'll go ahead and look for a way out, Wesker. Oh, thanks, Wesker. Before you turn into a complete... Uh, ass of a villain. Oh, look at him! Look at that! He- he left so much! Oh yeah. I am happy. Wesker, thank you! It only breaks if you go back through. So like, from this side to that other hallway? Oh, right, huh? Because it didn't tell me that note of that particular uh, message when I went through. <laughs> Invisible mode is tight. Oh my god, I don't- I'm not even sure if I necessarily want to play invisible mode. I'm scared of that mode, not gonna lie.
That Wesker guy is a bro. Yeah. I know. I love Wesker. I mean, he's a villain, but I still love him. So, time to crush myself, though. Uh, night, y'all. <laughs> Alright, Raging Reynolds. It's really nice to have met you here. Have a good night. Sleep well. Bye-bye. Oh my god, there's so many comments here. Hold on, I need to get to need to get to all of them. Uh, oh yeah, did you hear about Bayonetta 1 coming back to PS4? I did. My brother told me that and I was so happy to have heard that. It sold alongside Vanquish, and you know what? I'm okay with it. I loved Bayonetta. I have not played its sequels because I have a bit of a grudge against Nintendo for that, but it's okay. Bayonetta 1 is coming back. To PS4. I am down for that. Heck yeah. What, Platinum for Bayonetta? Heck yeah, I'm gonna do that. I got it for PS3 and it was a blast. I loved it. Wait, what was I doing? Uh, alright, I don't know any other place to use the old key, armor key, I'm just keeping it around just in case. Uh, health, I don't think I need it, but I do want to save right now. I don't really like how they changed Wesker's voice every other game though. I agree, I agree, if, I think if... I mean, obviously, with like the exception of like the original game, um, moving forward, they changed the voice actor, like, I want to say a couple times. I mean, it sounds similar en enough, but you can definitely tell the difference. I was actually happy enough to be graced by Wesker's uh, uh, voice from the Wesker mode in um, Resident Evil Zero. Oh my god, man. I was- I don't know why, I was just so happy to hear Wesker's voice again. <laughs> I can't wait to get to Resident Evil 4, 5, just so that I could see him a lot more again. No, and Code Veronica as well. Oh my god, I can't wait for Code Veronica. Which is going to happen after I stream Resident Evil 2 Remake, just because I don't have number 3. Wesker mode in that game is the best. It's just freaking awesome to just be able to play through that game with your death stare. I mean, granted, full death stare takes uh, like 3 seconds to charge. But it's just so much fun and I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Forgive me, I'm fangirling a, a bit too much right now, but I just love these games with a passion. Okay, so I have to go over to the other side, the second mansion, down those stairs, and go... I need to go over to the room with the life plants. Damn you, Plant 42! Why you gotta infect everything in this household? Uh, no. You stay alive. Wait, isn't there a key? No, I don't wanna risk it. Also, how does one avoid helping the characters here in Resident Evil 1 remake? Because every single time that I've ever played through this game, hi, uh, I've always helped people. Everybody I've come across. What do you think would happen if Wesker got his own game, or a DLC? You know what? I genuinely wonder that myself. There are a couple of elements to Wesker that I really wish that they would touch upon. Like, for example, um, his life when he left Umbrella for a little bit. Like, he was in the army, I think, and then he got recruited back to go undercover into stars. Wait, what am I doing? I was supposed to go upstairs. I'm a, 
I'm not. Like, first of all, I just want to know. I personally want to know who the heck was charmed enough by Wesker to have a kid with him. But I think what what else that it could consist of in terms of uh, content that we could explore with Wesker, we could definitely um, bring that extra content from the Umbrella Chronicles from when he was in the uh, facility uh, with, yeah, from like when he was fighting the Red Queen in that facility up in like the Eastern Europe or something. Uh, we could explore that. We could explore like all the times that he went out to like these different uh, locations to find different viruses. I would love to know where the heck he came back from the dead, where he found all of these resources to find to fund Ouroboros, all of this stuff. There's a lot of content, but right now Capcom is focused on the remakes, so that's going to be a while to take. You guys want to see something cool? A little sad, but cool. Look at this. Which way will it turn? Oh, wait. Never mind. Wait, red? Is it red? Yes, it is. Yeah, herbicide doing its job. Wait, where did the green go? Where does the green go? Wait, it stops here. Oh my god, if I clicked green, would it have destroyed all of this? Holy shit, talking mushrooms. Hi. That reminds me of the man in the iron mask. And Leonardo's, Leonardo DiCaprio's bad attempt at a quote-unquote French accent. You can't even do an English accent to cover French accent. What am I talking about? Whatever. Oh, Zinless, you bought uh, Resident Evil 5? Oh, cool. Sure. Oh god, hi. Wait, where am I supposed to go from here? Oh, right. I have one mask. Where should I go from here? Thank goodness, time stopped still when I got a bunch of other stuff to do here. But yeah. Like, what if he's so evil because he has a Plaga variant? I wouldn't... I'm not necessarily sure because it's a Plaga variant. Um, it, it would be really interesting to explore more how he managed to come back from the dead when a tyrant clearly impaled him in the first game, you know? Like, there, there's so many small, detailed, interesting aspects about Wesker that they could explore in either DLC or a full game. I would prefer a full game just because a full game allows for... Um, allows for it to be fleshed out a lot more. But... There's a lot of interesting aspects. I mean, like I said, you've got material from all of these games where he makes an appearance. The in-between stuff. It's... 
there's so much to talk about with Wesker. It, it might take away from the mystery, maybe? But at the same time, it's like, why not flesh out one of the most iconic villains of all time? <laughs> He's a little younger than Quiss. Than, did I say Quiss? That's <laughs> so funny. A little younger than Chris. So maybe it was before he left Umbrella. Lava healed him. He's not dead. He's evolving. He became Ustanak from RE6. That's interesting. That's interesting, Kitty. Not gonna lie, that is super interesting. Where do I go from here now? Hmm. The outside had a bunch of herbs. That's a helmet key. This... Oh right, I didn't explore that particular door on the second floor above the dining hall. Hmm. People say these older games have bad music. I kind of love it. What? Wait. Point to me who says that these games have bad music. I will fight them. Okay, I think I might have an idea of where to go next. Goodness, please do not give me a reason to go back to a safe area. Please. But yeah, whoever says that these games have bad music, no. I completely disagree. Wait, have I ever triggered the cutscene here that, uh, about the dogs? No, I haven't. Oh god, hi! A dummy. What was I gonna do? Ah, yes, I was gonna go upstairs. I was gonna explore. Was what I was gonna do. Oh shoot! It's the next day. I just for, I just forgot that for me it's twelve eleven, in the morning. But yeah, kitty. Not gonna lie, that got me really thinking about what they could potentially do um, in order to flesh out Wesker's character a lot more because there really is um, so much that they can that they can explore if they don't want to focus so much on the remakes themselves you know wait this is on the other side oh wait I think that's an elevator huh okay Please tell me that when I go to the other side, it's not going to be locked off by a sword key because I do not have it. If it is locked off by a sword key, I'm going to lose my mind a little bit. Fingers crossed. Wait, there was a door over here, right? Oh no. Oh no, this is probably one of the saddest moments. Wait, I have room, right? Yes, I do. Oh, I should drop that, that mask off just to make room. Dear God, how does... Seriously though, how does one speed run through this particular game? This is like honestly one of- the Oh god, hi! Forest... No. Upper 
Forrest, I'm so sorry. Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. I question that for almost every game. I completely agree. Yeah, you get it. Oh god, hi! You know what? And just because I don't ever want to come back to this area, I'm going to take both herbs. It's an invisible enemy mode where this guy follows you everywhere, right? Like he's... Like he's unstoppable? Because I never wanted to try invisible enemy mode, so I never bothered with it. But yeah, speed gaming is really hard. I'm gonna say just because I have experience doing that um, yesterday for me, because I played through um, I played through Resident Evil Zero about three times, both in just a little under three hours, trying to get the platinum for uh, Resident Evil Zero. But I can definitely tell you, speed gaming is really hard. It's one of the it's one of those aspects about Resident Evil that I don't. I'm not a fan of, or in general, I'm not a fan of speed gaming, but I was like, I, I'm too much of a fan about, or, or for the series that I just wanted to have a platinum in at least one of the traditional um, style games for Resident Evil, so I decided I may as well do it for, for uh, Resident Evil Zero at the time. This game, however, I'm not sure if I will get the Platinum. I feel like maybe I will. Maybe, but it's going to require a lot of dedication for me. Like, so much. And a lot of memorization. I think it's this one, right? There we go. Oh god, that's so scary. Speedruns have its own type charm. Others like it, others don't. I'm kind of in the middle. Because, um... I'm just... I'm not a fan of, you know, speedruns in general. But... <laughs> I guess just because I'm a... Um, I'm a trophy hunter. I'll do it. Just because, you know, there's a trophy in it for me. Or as Mike would put it, very, very, uh, out there, I'm a trophy whore. Seriously, I've never heard anyone being called that before. Just because they trophy hunt. Where do I have to go now? Alright, I haven't tried the door... ...here. There's a bunch of locked doors on the second floor over there that I haven't tried. I have some health items, so it should be okay for me to be able to... Um, ...have a bunch of health items. It's just the controls. I really need to get used to these controls. You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. <laughs> We're Richard, here to rescue you. You're funny. What the hell happened to you? Chris. This place... Get your team out of here. Demons... Everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake. But the size of the bite mark is huge. It's... Not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. 
He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. Please hurry. Hold on. I'll be back. I'd rather go with Trophy Hunter than Trophy Horror. I know. I do too, but I'm just saying. I've never heard anyone say Trophy Horror. <laughs> you know, this is uh, funny because I'm actually going to go back to that particular save room where the serum is, but I'm not going to get the serum. I'm going to do this as a game where everybody dies, where I don't save anybody as Chris because apparently that's a trophy that I have not gotten for either Chris or Jill. So I'm going to attempt to make that um, a particular priority for this uh, stream, not saving anybody. I'm not heartless. Believe me, I'm not heartless. Every single time that I have played this game, I've always saved people, but I'm going to make this one time the exception. <laughs> so essentially, sorry everyone, but uh, kind of, sort of, not sorry. <laughs> murder them all! It's not murder, it's just negligence. <laughs> it's just negligence. I'm gonna place a green herb here just because I am a little bit of a. Uh, I don't wanna say. No. I'm too organized for that. I'm gonna use an ink right now just in case. It's an old typewriter, you can use it to save your progress. Use the ink ribbon? Yes, I do. It's really interesting how this particular save theme is the one that's used a little more throughout all of the games that have been released in this franchise across different consoles. There's even a variant of this particular um, save theme on one of the DLCs for uh, Resident Evil 5, Lost in Nightmares I believe. Oh right, wait, I mentioned the sword key before, right? But I already discarded it. Huh. Alright, we can't go anywhere without this. Combined. I have just a little over two magazines on, two, two clips on backup. Oh wait. I should... Kitty's kind of sort of in my head right now when it comes- whenever I see a downed zombie I'm always gonna have like Kitty in my head reminding me that I need to uh, use uh, kerosene and burn them. Wait no, I don't wanna put this back. Oh, I have enough for one camping fuel. Sweet. I know it really- I know this game is old, considering that, you know, like, um... You know, like, the... The year that is initially released and then it was ported over to the PS4 or to later consoles but in all honesty I just can't get over how good this game looks when you go from the original game to the remake here like damn what a leap you know I don't know I can't help myself It's right over here. More kerosene. Well, 
Wow. Did I really use it all? I didn't... Uh, I feel bad now. It's the remaster of the remake. I didn't kill any zombies on that. You know, I kind of hesitate using these things just because I know that I'm not always going to get a headshot. But at the same time, considering that I have Yawn to fight against, I need to save up on these things. Actually, do I even need to fight him? That's the real question. I say him, but I don't know if Yawn is like... I'm just gonna say it. It's, it's a thing. It's a living thing. What else do I need to do? Alright. Hmm. I don't remember if that particular place had an armor key or not. I should, you know what, I'm going to explore that, that area right above the other save room. If it doesn't have an armor key, if it has a helmet key instead, then I think I'm just going to end the stream right there. in here. Is there a reason you knights are moving? Woe to those who disturb my sleep. There's a switch here, press it. Pff, no. Oh shoot. <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> Is that okay? Because I'd rather not die right now. Yay! A mysterious box. Pray tell, what does this said mysterious box unlock? There's a switch. Will you press the switch? Huh. There is a design of a sun and moon. On the plate it says, sunshine will awaken me. Oh god, hi. There's a mask inside. Death mask. Without eyes, nose, or mouth. Wow, that was something. Yeesh. Oh, hi. Ah, uh, go away. Can you believe that people actually completed this game without getting hit at all? Like, damn! You guys, please, teach me your ways. I want to know. No! Get off of me! 
Yeah, blow your damn head off. Or maybe I should have waited for the grenade to take effect. Oh heck. There's a large scratch on this wall. Doesn't look like the work of those rotting freaks. Wait, do I have a... Oh yes, I do. I welcome the presence of red herbs. They are the best. Wait, what's in here? Oh my god, that angle. Uh, not yet. I need to see what this other stuff is. Oh dear god, why? So many old keys. And ink ribbons! And green herbs. Is there anything? There's nothing in the drawers or the shelves. Okay, so I know that this place has a lot of good supplies. Lovely. I have a save room right below me, so this will be great. It's locked. It has an old-fashioned lock. Rather simple. Oh, okay. I should have investigated that first, but... I'm not... I, I didn't. <laughs> With a rather simple mechanism. If only I were some master of unlocking right now. Mike did have a point. There's always a there's always a door that with the safe key nearby. When there is a safe key present. Why I take the fish hook? Why do I need a fish hook? Um, researchers will. This is a letter. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize to you for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Hmm. I sit here trying to think of where to begin, of how to explain in a few simple words all that's happened in my life since we last spoke, and already I fail. I hope this letter finds you well, and, I, and that you'll forgive the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me. Even as I write, I feel the most simplest of concepts feeling slipping away. Lost to feelings of despair and confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I rest. Mama, please believe what I'm telling you is the truth. The entire story would take hours for me to tell you, and time is short, so accept these things as fact. Last month, there was an accident in the lab, and the virus we were studying leaked. All my colleagues were infected, are dead or dying, and the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. It robs their victims of their humanity, forcing them into their sickness to seek out and destroy life. As I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my door. Oh my god. Oh my... Oh, that was heartbreaking! Yeah, that was heartbreaking. The lure of a bee? Um. um... You know, I really don't want to press anything right now. No, I do not want to take that bee specimen. Uh. I'm a little stumped right now. You know what, I'm just gonna go back, I'm gonna save, real quick. This room seems fishy. Ha, 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 
Ha ha ha. Look at that, a nice fireplace. Okay, so I'm home in here. Just to be clear. Okay. Helmet. Have not gone through the door with Yawn in it. Have not tried the doors past uh, Richard and Rebecca. Here. Those other doors on the other side of the mansion on the left side are also locked by helmet doors. Or helmet keys. Yeah, all the rest of these are either helmet keys or keys that bear the Spencer family logo. Gotta find that helmet key, quick. Man, if I were a speedrunner, I would definitely have completed this game easy, like right about now. I'm pretty sure that in order to get an S rank, you have to complete this game in like under three hours, I believe, right? Or like three, like three hours or less? I think so. That's going to be a heck of a thing. I'm not, I'm really, really not sure if I want to do that for the, for this particular game. Just because I do have like other, uh, other games that I'm committed to for getting the platinum. But we'll have to see. But you would be having less fun? I mean, it's true. It's true that uh, speedrunning can, you know, pretty much affect your ability to have uh, fun with a particular game. Just because... I feel like the experience of like just kind of like soaking in, like being able to like take your time with these games is a lot more fun than speedrunning itself. But I'm not sure. I'm not really, I'm personally not into speedrunning, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of really tempted to get it just because I'm a trophy hunter and I love platinums, so I might just end up doing it. I might. But who knows? Oh man, you know what I should have done? I should have gone back out and put in the mask without the nose or mouth. Hmm. I'm just gonna put this here. I don't necessarily see myself using the handgun magazine just yet, and the armor key, I think there might still be use for that. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Why am I sorting everything? I'm gonna actually get off right now. <laughs> it's uh, it's somewhat late for me actually. It's like 12.30 my time. I don't, I don't know if you guys are Pacific, uh, Central, or Eastern time. Or the other time that I forgot to mention. But, um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna end it here. Uh, I hope that the music isn't, drown isn't drowning my voice out. But yeah, um, I'm really happy that I was able to come here and do a smallish stream of Resident Evil 1 Remake. Because, I'm not gonna lie, it has been like four years since I last played this game. And I'm happy that I came back to it for my Resident Evil Marathon. So... God, it's just it's just a nostalgia blast being able to come back to this game, being able to see everything, hear everything, the background noises, the music, seeing these characters. I love it so much. So I'm gonna continue with um, my live stream of Resident Evil 1 Remake later. I'll announce it. Either you'll get the notification here on Twitch or on my Instagram. But yeah, I'm gonna conclude it here. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, for watching me uh, play through this. I'm not the best player, I know, but this is more like a casual but genuine playthrough of this game. But yeah, have a good night everyone, 
Thank you so much for stopping by, and I bid you all a good night. Bye, guys. <laughs>